Hi, I'm Jim Manny from IgnatianSpirituality.com. Gratitude is the key to Ignatian spirituality. Uh, it's the key in two senses. Uh, it's the key that unlocks the door, and it's the key that the music is played in. Uh, gratitude is the whole atmosphere, it's the whole context, it's like the key of a song. Uh, but it's also the key in the sense that it's the main thing. It's the path to everything else. Now gratitude was so important to Ignatius that he thought that ingratitude was the deadliest sin. He said that ingratitude, he said in one of his letters, ingratitude is the cause, the beginning, and the origin of all evils and sins. Now if someone asked you to name the origin of all evils, how likely would you be to choose ingratitude? Probably not very likely. I wouldn't, have do, I wouldn't do it. But Ignatius did. Uh, for him, ingratitude was at the top of the charts. I think Ignatius was on to something vitally important here. He said, uh, gratitude is a fundamental part of our relationship with God. So ingratitude is something like willful blindness to the truth. Ignatius' spiritual exercises uh, end in a vision of generosity and gratitude called the contemplation to attain the love of God. Ignatius imagines God showering us with blessings and gifts, like the sun bathing the earth with warmth and light. Uh, he sees God as a fountain pouring forth unending streams of life-giving water. Uh, this is his vision of God. God is ceaselessly working and infinitely generous. This is love, and Ignatius says two things about love. He says that love is manifested in deeds rather than in words. And he also said that love consists in a mutual sharing. So, how does God love us? He shares himself and he does things. And how do we love God? We do the same thing. And our response is summed up in Ignatius' most famous prayer. Uh, this is the prayer. He says, Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All that I have and all that I call my own, you have given me, O oh Lord. I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me. Now that's gratitude. God has given us the things that make us who we are. Our freedom, our memory, our understanding and our will. These are the only things that God doesn't have. We have them. So we turn around and give them back to God. That's love, and that's what gratitude means.